I've lived here all my life and we've spoken for a long time with my dad about fencing off the land, but it was just something that always got sort of put on the back burner, you know, there's always something else to do on the farm. What we'd really like to see is to, um, you know, we know we've got lots of birds, lots of native birds in there, uh, there's some beautiful big old trees in there, but we'd like to see those trees um, so that vegetation starting to regenerate. We'd really like to be able to look out our kitchen window and to see those plants regrowing and have some beautiful wildflowers and, and hopefully one day some, um, some native animals as well, apart from the kangaroos that we see a lot of already. This is what I've been doing for the last 20 years. I want people to really value these special pieces of vegetation and also in this agricultural landscape to enhance them, to put back the wattles and if plants are missing to either hand plant or direct seed them back into these areas. By removing the grazing, the, the stock grazing, you'd expect to see a, a better cover of native vegetation. So everything from grasses and herbs and, and um, wildflowers to regeneration of things like river red gum. Contact us in the first instance and um, if we can't fund them through one of our existing projects, we can pass them on to the appropriate land care group. Um, we know who, obviously who's got the funding and, and where to direct them.